In this problem, a closed cylindrical container with a vertical axis is completely filled with water. A small plastic bead of a specific gravity 0.5 is placed at a distance r from the axis and is anchored to the bottom of the container by a thread of length l. The container is rotated and the bead sinks by depth h. Find the angular velocity of the container. Let us assume angular velocity of the container is omega. It is rotating with angular velocity omega. Let me discuss some points about buoyancy force. In case of a static container, if container is a static, in case of a static container, if you take any fluid particle of mass dm, then force on this particle is external force. External force is dm into g, and we know that buoyancy force is opposite to this external force. So buoyancy force is like this vertically up. In case of accelerating container, if container is accelerating, and in this case acceleration is a centripetal acceleration. So in case of acceleration, if we take a dm mass, a tiny fluid particle inside this container, and if we talk about the force with respect to container then one external force is this dm into g and another external force will be dm into omega square multiplied by x where x is the radial distance or radius of the circle in which it is rotating buoyancy force is opposite to these forces we can say one buoyancy force is vertically up this is vertical component of buoyancy force and one component in this direction opposite to this force and this buoyancy force we can call radial so one vertical component and one radial or along horizontal component we can also say that resultant of these two forces is dm into under root g square plus omega square x square or we can regard it as g effective this resultant buoyancy force will be just opposite to this dm into g effective so this is the net buoyancy force and net buoyancy force has two components one is a radial component and one is this vertical component now how to calculate uh, these components so buoyancy force we can define like this it is weight of the liquid displaced if mass of the liquid displaced is ml it is multiplied by g in case of a static container if container is accelerating we take as g effective the two components can be calculated like this the vertical component can be calculated as mass of the liquid displaced multiplied by g and this radial component can be calculated as mass of the liquid displaced multiplied by this omega square into x in this case mass of the liquid displaced is a specific gravity of bead is given as 0.5 and a specific gravity of water is 1 that means this bead is less heavy it is half it is half as compared to this liquid so liquid displaced or water displaced by this bead will have double the mass as that of this bead if this bead has mass m then water displaced by it will have mass 2m so this has mass m and water displaced has mass 2m so this will be 2m into g and this will be 2m into omega square x now we draw the free body diagram of this bead let us draw the free body diagram of the bead this is the bead the forces acting on this will be buoyancy force it has two components a radial and this radial component is 2m omega square into x and vertical component of buoyancy force is 2m multiplied by g its weight mg if i draw if i draw this diagram 
in the frame of container then there will be a bind there will be a centrifugal force centrifugal force is m omega square multiplied by x now due to net for due to net horizontal force in this direction this bead will go like this it will move like this and it will come somewhere here so it will move like this and it is now somewhere here and as given in the problem it sinks by a distance h so this distance will be h so one force will be due to this string which is tension and tension will be like this so these are the forces which are acting on this bead we can have the resultant of this 2 mg and mg is equal to vertically up mg and resultant of these two forces is equal to m omega square x in this direction so i am representing the force in this diagram only now in this direction the net force is due to this two and it is m omega square x one is this tension force and this will be mg suppose it has rotated by angle theta <coughs> and in equilibrium this tension is balancing the resultant of mg and m omega square x so resultant of these two forces should be like this it is just opposite to the tension tension is balancing the resultant of these two forces since this angle is theta in equilibrium this angle is also theta so we can use geometry tan theta is equal to in this distance i am assuming equal to x so radial distance is equal to x and this force is m omega square x tan theta from this diagram we can write it as this divided by this distance and this distance is m omega square x and that is mg 1m is cancelled and this tan theta can be written as omega square x by g omega square can be written as g tan theta omega square is g tan theta divided by x now we just have to put the value of tan theta and x to solve for omega we can see from diagram cos theta can be calculated as this distance is l minus h so cos theta we can write and this is equal to h so cos theta is this divided by this l minus h divided by l from cos theta we can calculate tan theta and the value of x from the diagram this total distance is equal to r and this is l and this is l sin theta this is l sin theta so x is equal to r minus l sin theta for x we can put r minus l sin theta and theta can be calculated from this information of cos theta so finally after putting all these informations omega is equal to after putting tan theta and x omega is under root of since this is omega square so omega is under root of <coughs> g the root 2 lh minus h square divided by l minus h multiplied by r minus under root 2 lh minus h square so this is the final answer to this problem